to know how I have managed to keep my bike so clean. 2016 model bike. Still, my bike shines like bright. I'm curious to know the secrecy behind this shine. To clean that so particular part in a proper way and how to so detail it. I have selected the engine bore kit and the head area. But what happens is, what are the dust and oil content which is accumulated the fins of the bore kit? Okay, so what is the best idea can implement or what is the best to clean and detail the bore kit properly? Hello YouTube, this is Dhruva Mundodi and welcome to my channel Mundodi Vlogs. Friends, I have been YouTubing from past one and a half to two years and many of my subscribers and viewers are very much keen and interested to know how I have managed to keep my bike so clean. For your information, it's a 2016 model bike and it's already four years old. Trust me, it's a 2016 model bike. Still, my bike shines like brand new. So I'm sure you might be very curious to know the secrecy behind this shine. So to explain the secrecy behind this shine, I have decided to make a special series on different methods and ways of bike cleaning. So I won't be explaining it in the same video at a stretch, but instead, I would divide it into different parts and I will select each part for every series or every episode and I will explain you guys how to clean that particular part in a proper way and how to detail it properly. So for my today's episode, I have selected the engine bore kit and the head area. I won't be concentrating on the right hand side cover and the left hand side cover because that's the topic for another video. So as you can see, my bore kit and the head area is already pretty clean. My intention of doing this video is just to show you guys how I have managed to keep this part so clean. Okay. So normally what people do, people wash their bike using some kind of a cloth like this. They put some kind of a detergent or shampoo and then they start rubbing like this. Okay. So this is how normally people wash their bike, okay? And after after they finish applying detergent or soap and then they will spray some water like this and done. But what happens is whatever the dust and oil content which is accumulated inside the fins of the bore kit won't wash off properly because we know a cloth cannot reach into the extreme corners or edges of the bore kit. Or the fins of the bore kit. Okay, so what is the best idea or what is the best trick what we can implement to clean and detail the bore kit properly? I have a solution for it and my way of cleaning is a little bit different. So I have a sprayer with me. You can either use diesel or even you can use shampoo water considering how dirty your bore kit or engine area is. In case if the bore kit area is very dirty, then I would recommend you guys to spray some diesel over it and allow it to settle there for about 5 minutes then you can continue with the next step okay in case if it is not so dirty then you can straight away put some soap water inside it and you can spray it so now for demo purpose i'll spray some diesel first and then i'll go on with the second step okay so let's spray some diesel now So after spraying diesel, I have allowed it to settle there for a while. So after that, what I am doing is, I am using this simple paint brush. You will get it in all the hardware shops. All you have to do is, you know, just start rubbing like this. Okay. Concentrate on each and every fin. Once if you select this fin, then finish cleaning this fin first before moving into the upper fin. Okay. Then you can go up to the second or third fin like that, okay. The reason why I am using this brush is, it can reach into the remotest corner of the bore kit fins, okay. So after you have done cleaning with the brush and after you are satisfied, now what you have to do is, Take some shampoo, it need not be necessarily a vehicle cleaning shampoo, even you can use a normal clinic plus or any other shampoo, I am not recommending any brand. You can use a shampoo of your choice, okay, put it into a mug with water, okay, I have already done it. Use the same brush, 
and apply this shampoo water evenly okay again concentrate on each and every fin okay the same procedure holds good for the opposite side as well so after i have finished applying shampoo on each and every fin and doctor is satisfied with your cleaning i'll let it to settle there for a while the reason why i'm asking you to allow it to settle there for a while is whatever the diesel content is there or whatever the diesel water you have applied you know it should get loosened up and it should also get washed away properly i'm just asking you guys to allow the soap water to settle there for a minute or two not more than that because in case if the soap water dries there then that is one more hectic job to clean the soap water then there will be some white patches or white soap mark left over there so after i have left the soap water for a while take some clean water and wash all the soap water whatever is there wash it properly you can even use a hose pipe or a pressure washer the reason why i'm using this bucket and mug is not everyone can afford a pressure washer and not everyone in the towns have proper access to hose pipe or garden pipes so i'm just using a mug and a bucket to clean my vehicle so that's it the engine is clean now so that's it for today guys i hope you have found my video to be informative and interesting in my next episode i'll select some other part and i'll teach you guys how to clean it properly and how to detail it so if you have any doubts please write it down in the comment box and if you have liked my video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to mundodi vlogs for more such interesting and informative videos in the future keep watching mundodi vlogs thank you guys